Just dropped off the old number 47 at Matt's house. Matt is going to be using it to make knives. Some of those great knives that I talked about before in the last video. So I think it's wonderful that it's going to a place that it's going to be used. Uh, I see so many of them sitting outside rusting away in the yard. It's just disappointing. Right now, I'm at Hog Crick because I drove all the way down to Coldwater to drop off the grinder. I'm going to take advantage and go down US-12 and hit the antique shops because I can. Unfortunately, antique shops like to play background music. Background music is fine. I like listening to it as I'm shopping, but I don't have the rights to the music. So if the music is playing in the background of the video, then I don't have the rights to the video. So, be that as it may, this video has to be silent. Well, not completely, because I can do a voiceover like this. Also, I can have background music that I do have the rights to, like Angel Share, which is what you're listening to now. So, if it's not what you like, I'm sorry. But I just can't have the whole thing knocked off of YouTube because of a silly thing like copyright violation. Now that is a monster chisel. It's actually called a slick. It's about three inches across and it's used for timber framing. When they cut the large joints, they use that kind of like a plane to shave off the uh, tenons and the mortises to make it so that the parts fit perfectly. I've never seen a pipe cutter like this one. It's very unique. Rather than rollers that actually get pushed into the steel, 
This has cutters that cut a slice out of it. I'd like to try it on a piece of pipe, but I don't want to buy it just so I can try it. This is something I've never seen before. It's a Hartford Johansson tool holder. And you can change the bits on it by driving the bit out with a wedge. Kind of like what you'd use to drive a chuck out of a drill press. Interesting. Don't have a need for it. Or even a want. Especially at 20 bucks. I have a few of these old style wrenches, not a lot of them, mostly just things that I've picked up along the way in box lots. But they are kind of interesting, and there's a big market on them. People really like collecting them. This one looks like it has an international harvester insignia inside of a C. Now, I don't know what that means, and I'm not familiar with the brand, but it's an interesting thing. Yeah, I didn't pick up the grenade. I figured it was better left alone. I have one of these little combination squares, and that size seems to be just right for a lot of jobs. Uh, it's a cool little thing, but like I said, I have one. This one calls itself a watchmaker's thread gauge, and it looks interesting. Uh, possibly handmade for somebody who actually needed it. And that's a tinner's hammer. The long head lets you get over the edge of uh, things to go down in and tap the corners on a pan. I like the shaving horse. A little low to the ground for me, but I've wanted one for a long time. I should just get around and make one.
The Stanley number 80 is a great scraper. Uh, this $25, that's a reasonable price. They were going for 60 or 70, but I guess it depends on the market that you're in. phone is full. The battery's dying. Time to stop looking for a little bit. Go back to the truck and plug it in. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.